Hey, how you guys doing? It's autotips.ca coming to you live from Kitchener. Uh, today we're going to be discussing uh, tire monitor system, which is called uh, TPMS. It does what monitors your air pressure on the, on the tire to make sure that you have enough pressure. Back in the days we didn't have it, so you have to come outside and look at your tire pressure or you can note some when you're driving. But now they actually have on the light on the dash that shows you when your tire pressure is low or if there's a problem with the actual uh, monitoring system. So that's what we're gonna be discussing. And the car we're gonna be using, it's a 2010 Honda Accord. So uh, let's do this. But first of all, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsors, especially to uh, a buddy at Swiss Chalet, uh, Fairview Manitou, my main man Fitui. Thanks for keeping it real, brother. Yeah, so go check out uh, Swiss Chalet at Fairview Manitou. They'll take care of you. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so right now I got the gauge hooked up here. So it's reading 34. So the maximum pressure, when I looked at the actual, uh, when I looked at the uh, owner's manual for the 2010 Honda Accord, you can go on the index and it will bring you to a 340. So it says here, 32 PSI maximum pressure. So you gotta make sure um, for the front, actually for the front and the rear, say 32 PSI, if the tires are 225, 50, 17. And then what they're talking about is the tire size. So the, every car has some sort of size. So this is a size. 225 50 17 so if this is the tires you're using supposed to be at 32 psi and if you're using a 215 instead of 225 if you're using 215 so you can get away with 30 psi so always if you don't have your owner's manual this is listed on the driver's side as well but always is good because the owner's manual gives you uh, more details so when we come here, this is the actual sensor, uh, what it looks like that monitors the tire pressure. So this one, it has a battery inside. We're gonna try to display it on the actual uh, video. So the battery, actually you can't replace on those ones. So you have to replace the whole sensor. Uh, so usually the battery can go low or can go bad, or the sensor itself, sometimes they corrode, they start leaking. So those are the sensors that shows you, uh, that gives you information on your tire pressure. So this I have here on a display, just to show you guys what it looks like. I think I have. So this is uh, kind of similar. These are the one that you can program, like if you have the tool to program them. So the tool looks like something like this. So you put the sensor here, you lock it, and then you turn the machine on. And then you put the car model and all that. So the vehicle that we're working on, it's a 2010 Honda. So you come to Honda here, and it's a 2000 Accord. So from 2008 to 2012, it's all covered. So it's giving you here to scan sensors, copy sensor, or program new. So we would go on where it says program new if we have to do this. So those are the cheaper version of the sensors versus this one here. You see, this is a plastic versus this is a metal. So that's the original, and these are the cheaper version of it. So that's what it looks like. So the battery is like integrated part of it. So if the battery goes, you have to replace the whole thing, you know? So just to discuss further, like so if we see the tire pressure, so here it was 32. So here was about 33 or so. So this is okay. I don't think this triggered the, the actual thing. So if we come on the next tire, because we have to check all four, four tires. So if you come down here, oh yeah, this tire is way low. Sorry. So you can see the tire is pretty flat here. So the sensor is actually functioning good because it's showing us. So it's got 14 PSI. Let me just 
take this thing off here. So it has 14 PSI, shows 14 PSI. That's why the light on the dash was on. This is the actual light that shows you that there's a problem with the tire uh, pressure. So we gotta try to fill up the pressure on that on the thing and then we'll, we'll take it for a test drive. Hopefully that light will go away. It's been part of safety, I think, for the last 10 years or so. So if you have that light on the dash, don't ignore it. Um, if you don't fix it, at least make sure uh, your tires are full. So you gotta do that manually until you can uh, get to it, okay? Okay, so uh, we just gave you guys um, some details about the tire monitor system. I'm sure uh, it's not that easy, it's a little bit more complicated, but this is just a knowledge for you to know, to have a proper pressure on the car because it's very important to have a proper pressure on the car. It's good for gas mileage. You don't damage your tires so you can get more life out of them. So always when you have that light, don't ignore it. And if you don't have the light, always do it manually. Uh, if you want information regarding what the tire pressure is supposed to be, it's always in your owner's manual. And it's part of the safety feature as well. So if you have that light and you keep ignoring it, something else might happen. Uh, a low tire pressure always is dangerous because whenever you hit a curve or something, it could cause more damage. And it, it, it doesn't help for the other suspension parts as well. So the tire is one of the suspension parts because that's the first thing that touches the, the ground. So you got to make sure you have the recommended pressure. And that's all I wanted to say. I hope you can help somebody. Thanks for always, guys, watching autotips.ca. And like I said, always comment us if you want us to work on the, on the next issue that you guys wanted to know. We're happy to do it, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace until the next time.